But yeah, one of the topics that came up on the clips was cameo, and I felt like I could have like fleshed that one out a bit more than I than I did when I was talking about the last time. We see cameo. I don't know if you guys know cameo. It's basically the service where you have people sign up. You have all kinds of like celebrities, um, YouTubers, musicians, a lot of like reality TV show people. Like last night, I was looking at the Big Ed cameo. That you know the. the <laughs> I love that I just went like that, and you know who Big Ed is. Um, we made love. I but, think she enjoyed it. But I was I was looking through Big Ed's cameo last night. His price, if you want to get a cameo from Big Ed, it's uh, you gotta pay him sixty nine dollars. Pay Big Ed the funny number. But then a while ago, because like someone had asked me on the last stream. Oh, here we go. Someone had asked me on the on the last stream. If I would make a cameo, and I kind of said, I said no, because like I don't like the idea of being on a service where it's kind of like people just ask you to say whatever and you do it for money. Like I would probably do it if I was hard up for cash, but it feels to me it feels like degrading, and I want to do it. No hate against anyone who does do it, but I just I don't like the idea of people like of people doing that with my stuff. Especially because it seems like the only, I mean, you'll get, like, some audiences, you'll just get, like, people who are like, oh, yeah, my my friend loves your reality TV show, can you wish them a happy birthday? I, that's, like, the intended purpose of Cameo, but it feels like most of the people, uh, at least, I, I mean, it's probably, like, a bit of selection bias, the kinds of people I follow and congregate with. That mostly just buy cameos to fuck with people. Oh. Or for the Mima, just like money dumped down onto the fucking Mima. Like I was saying in the last stream, a few people have- the only reason I didn't do it was because so many people at this point have done shit where it's uh, to specifically make Chris Hansen say dumb shit. But when everyone was outraged about that Cuties movie, I was like, fuck, wouldn't it be funny if someone got Chris Hansen to do a cameo promoting the movie? He, you know he would do it too, because he like he doesn't fucking bet anything that he does. He's all out there selling like Escobar phones. Selling a fucking multi-level marketing. I don't. Remember, I don't want to say multi-level marketing scam, because I forgot what the exact. It was like some kind of like a get rich quick thing. I don't remember what the specifics of it were. Um, I forgot to change my pants again. I forgot what the specific. It was. It was some kind of get rich quick thing. But they were like, oh, this is. It was a get rich quick thing that was kind of like telling you. It's like, yo, you gotta watch out for those other get rich quick schemes this is the real deal guys it was that kind of stuff um so you could definitely get him to do a cameo promoting the fucking cuties movie 100 percent um but then like the the one i've i've purchased one cameo in my life and it was the fucking bagel boss what i had done was this was like shortly after the bagel boss had just got on there i definitely spent more money than I should have spent on it. Well, no, let me not say that, because, like, it was it was a lot of money to get a guy to say some words. But I was satisfied with what I got. It was, uh... It, it, was, it was basically the instructions I gave him. If you... It, there's not enough words to fill, fill in, like, a full copy pasta. But what I had put, it, put in there... I basically described to him the trumpet guy situation and got the bagel boss to reenact that. Hey, Douglas, how are you? Chris the Baker Box, this is for you. You're a piece of shit! You suck! You're nothing! I'm the best in the world! You're nothing! I'm the teacher! You're nobody! You're a disgrace! You're making too much noise! In this neighborhood! Come on, you suck! You always mean nothing! I'll tell you something, woman. You tell this person who's invading your neighborhood that I, I said, you're the big mouth, you're a nobody, and you suck! And if this woman gets in anyone's face, you tell them, you're not God. No, wait a minute. God, my father, oh, my boss. Bagel Boss is actually a story I might wind up doing a video on at some point. See, he had an interesting road. You know, after the original, 
after the original Bagel Boss video pops up, he he actually seems to like hold on to his attention for a little bit, building up accounts, with, like kind of like finding like a good social media voice for what he was all about. But then he had some like kind of weird beef with his management. They took his account from him or some shit. And I, I didn't even like wind up following it too closely, but like it was like there is a story to the Bagel Boss well beyond just that original video.